Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a while back, I made a video about stained glass effect in Corel. And somebody asked me today on one of my videos if you could make the, the stained glass with rounder shapes. I wasn't for sure, but sure enough, you can. We'll move this out of the way, start on a new one. So all I did was take a, and you want to kind of do this small at first to make sure it, it works without taking too much time. So it's a two by two square. I'm gonna fill it in with black. I'm gonna to go to effects, effects down to creative and go to stained glass. Make sure it's set on a different color of white. And you can change, like in other videos, you can change the solder width and make it like that. But let's put it back to where it was. It looked pretty good at 10. Then you can't really do anything with this now, but if you go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, convert it to black and white bitmap, and then trace it. Outline trace clip art. What that does is makes it more usable. Your trace version should normally always be on top. And if we look now and put this in the center, we have a white background basically. So we'll click on our item, go up to object group and ungroup, and then try to click on the white. I got black. Might be harder said than done. Well, let me zoom in quite a bit. And you, we could do this with find and replace, but I'm going to click on the white and hit delete. It, it touched all the ones that were connected. So now we basically have it. We'll left click, right click, but you see we have double lines, or not really double lines, but really thick lines. So we're going to make it cuttable. So with it selected, we're going to click on here and make it a hairline. We're going to go ahead and make it red just so we'll know that it's cut line if we were going to cut these out. But the question the person had, could you change the shape of these and make them rounder, almost like a stone effect, I guess. A couple of ways we're gonna do that. We're gonna hit the plus key on our keyboard and make a copy of this. Let's get rid of, well, I've already done this one. Let's get rid of that. Bring this, remember it's ungrouped, so we have to grab it all to group it. And then just, if you have X7 or above, we can grab it all. Well, as a matter of fact, let's group it together for a second, see if that helps. If you have X7 or above, you can get the smoothing tool and have the smoothing tool quite a bit bigger than your object. We'll only make it four inches. And then click on your object. I'm having a little bit of trouble clicking on the object. Grab the smoothing tool and then just lightly cut it, lightly touch your mouth. I've got it set on one, which is the rate. Look at that, it took most of them and made them round. Now, if you wanted them all rounder, if that's even a word, you could take the shape tool and, and let's ungroup them now. Go up to object, group and ungroup. So now we have individual parts. You could move them around but if you wanted that corner, you could do it with the shape tool and just you know round off that corner. But you could also do it by selecting that corner and going up to Windows, Dockers, Corners, and have it change that radius to point one and look at that, that quick. Grab that node, point one. Now you'd have to do this probably on all of them I don't know that it's going to do it. Let's get rid of the yellow. I don't know that you could do it with all the corners, but maybe so. Let's go point one. Some of the radiuses, I'd have to reduce the radiuses. But look at, look at some of them. They're all got rounded corners. We'll go a little bit more around with that one. Evidently, it's already done it, so it, it actually did its work. Matter of fact, let's back up here and see. Before, I, okay, look at this corner. I'm actually gonna 
Let's turn that one. I we'll have to click off of it. Turn that one uh, blue, just so we can identify it. Then select the whole thing with your pick tool. Take the shape tool and then select all of them and do that radius. Some of them were too small, but where's the blue one? Right there. And look at the difference. I should have. Let's back up here. One. Well, if I back up, watch this one change back to a sharp radius. So that's what it's going to do. It's changing all of them. Now, some of these are touching. You just have to move them. Maybe we could do a, you know, it's it, it's hard to make a radius with more than one node. And that one already looks pretty good. And it's not going to change. But like right there, you've got a, I call that a, like a, a double whip type effect. You could delete some nodes and get, get rid of some of those curvatures, bring it in. And I think they're all pretty good. Let's go with. This one does have a radius, but let's do it a little bit more. Let's see if we can grab it. Let's change the radius to 0 0.05. No, it's already done. It's already done its radius they can do. Let's go 0 0.5. Nope. Let's grab it. I think once it's already done its radius, you can't change it. But that looks pretty good. It's a bunch of round items. Uh, much better than you'd want to go back and change that one to back to red. A lot of times when you can't click on something, it's because you're clicking on the whole thing. But you now you got red hairlines. That would cut out. Or you could fill them in with black and take away the line. And then that would just engrave. So look at the difference between the two that we rounded off in the ones we didn't. Pretty cool effect. I hope it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.